Basically, what I decided was to share some lessons, and I'm going to share a couple with you because I'm not going to take up all day. Um, and one is, the first thing is, stop participating in your own victimization. And what does that mean? What does it mean to stop participating in your own victimization? That means stop getting on the phone, talking to your girl about it, talking about this blinking blank did something to me, and, you know, he better not come home, he better beat the, he better beat the locksmith home, because I'm going to, all this stuff that you all do. Um, <laughs> Y'all do. Um, you know, gossiping, thinking excessively about it, you know, obsessing. You know, I hear yeah. women going and, you know, they want they want to become private eyes, trying to find out what the person's doing and all that. Just taking up all their time focusing on that person. You got to stop. You're re-victimizing yourself when you do that. And you stay stuck. And, you, you know, you're just too cute for that. You can't, you just can't do that. So what you can do instead, and I found, it's, it's interesting that Jewel mentioned it, is I created this vision board that my family teases me about because I put on this vision board what I wanted in a future mate if I decided to go that route again. And I listed, and this thing was like seven pages long, everything that I was gonna have in my life, everything I wasn't gonna have in my life, everything I was gonna accept and how what he better do, what he better, better not do, and all this kind of stuff. And my family teased me and they said, Carla, this is Jesus. There's no individual <laughs> on this earth who can meet this criteria, you know. But you know, I know what I gotta have. So Jesus is who it is, and Jesus is who it is, you know. But anyway, <laughs> but I also had to just realize that betrayal is not personal. 